in today's video, I'm going to talk about what one hot encoding is, why it is useful, and show how it was implemented in Python and JavaScript. So let's start. One hot encoding is a process with which we take a set of named categories in which the order between the values is not implicit, like colors, for example, green and blue, fruits, like for example, apples, lemons, and blueberries, and so on, and transform them into a numeric representation so that a machine learning algorithm can perform operations on those values. Also, it might help the network perform better As I mentioned before, one-hot encoding is mostly used for encoding or transforming categorical data that has no implicit order. Aside from your own preferences, for example, an apple is not greater or lesser than an orange, for example. If instead we think about a category like metals with values like gold, silver, or bronze, which are awarded given a position in an ordered ranking, then we can say that gold is better than silver, which is also better than bronze, for example. In such cases, there is no need to one hot encode the data for that particular category. So, at a high level, the encoding or transformation process would typically entail transforming the named categories into numbers by, for example, assigning an index into each one of them, then we would create a vector representation of them with as many columns as category we have. Finally, we would take the previous indexes and assign a one into the column that corresponds with the index of the category and zeros on the other columns. So in this example, we have the blueberry with index two. So we would go into the category two column and set a one there and zeros elsewhere. The idea here is that if we have a data set or a set of inputs, with a categorical column, we would be able to replace any matching category with its vector representations. For one hot encoding a categorical column using scikit-learn, we need to use a label encoder to create the indexes for all the categories and a one hot encoder which will create the vector representation for each index. For configuring and using a sidekit learn encoder, you need to do a couple of things. First, you need to instantiate the encoder, call fit by passing the entire list of values for a particular categorical column. You would use the initial dataset for this. And then you can call transform to get the encoded result. The fit method will go through all the values and create an internal representation that would allow the encoder to, given a particular value, always return the same encoded one. Given that the one hot encoder requires the index for a particular category name, we first configure the label encoder, then we transform the entire list of category names using the label encoder, and then we configure or fit the one hot encoder with those values. When using the encoders for preprocessing a particular input to be trained or predicted, we need to always first call the transform method on the label encoder to get the index and then pass the value into the transform method on the one hot encoder. 
For the JavaScript application, I used a library for one hot encoding. First, I removed the first element, Envigado, from the list of neighborhoods. I did the same in Python. This means that Envigado will have zeros for all the columns I use the enumeration method that works in the same way that the label encoder does on Python and returns the indexes for each neighborhood. Then I created the one hot encoder vector representation for each neighborhood. Finally, I created a dictionary that maps each neighborhood string to its one hot encoded representation. Awesome! Congratulations and thanks for watching! And if you like the video, please hit subscribe.